weather. To take authority over the weather. I will not tolerate. I will not tolerate. Destruction from Laura. Destruction from Laura. So we command the host of heaven. So we command the host of heaven. To go shred the bands of that storm. To go shred the bands of that storm. Right now. Right now. We command the pressure in the storm, Laura. We command the pressure in the storm, Laura. To rise. To rise. 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 So that storm will be downgraded. So that storm will be downgraded. We're going to point towards the Gulf now, wherever anyone is, you point towards the Gulf, so that would be to the west. So I take authority over Laura and I say no more high winds, no more severe warnings, no more doom and gloom over you. Brother Dan here. Welcome to my channel. Please support your local food bank, Drug and Alcohol Center. Bienvenido. Estoy escuchando mi música en español. That's um, the mariachis. I lived in Mexico City for a few years and my niña mayor estaba nacido. Por decirlo de Mexico. Alright, my first daughter was born in Mexico City and I speak Spanish. We're going to be looking at the cat curve. I just came across this. This is the cat curve. No. All right, let's turn off the music here. One, se one second. <laughs> I, lo I love the culture and the food and the people of Mexico very much. Well, my first daughter is Mexican. All right, so. The Kekker. All right, so let's get in this video. We're going to be looking at Kekker today. Over the weather. Now, what she's doing there, that's August 26, 2020. So this is critically important. That we're looking at this because she's claiming with her this is her picture of her gandalf stick someone carved in cat right into that gandalf staff all right it's unclear if those are real diamonds it looks kind of like maybe glitter all right so this is uh, glitter christianity or false christianity that i'm exposing in this channel if you don't know who cat kerr is we're going to look at a few of her more blasphemous lies in god's name today um here it is here August 26, 2020. So that's critically important, all right? That's what live. August 27, one day later, the, the Laura made landfall and blew out all those windows. The 27, one day later, that's secure. So quite clearly that uh, Kek Kerr's Gandalf glitter stick commending the weather, yeah, it was unsuccessful. It actually destroyed people's lives and flooded the city so quite clearly you know it's amazing these people are under the judgments of god because you know obviously it's still posted and she wants you to see this so we're looking at a cat all right enough of that we the video we're going to look at today is cat kerr talks about famous people she's seen in heaven and hell before we get to that i just i was doing a search actually because um if you're unaware, there she's claiming that Elvis is in the throne room. Santa Claus lives in Christmas Town. The snow's prophesying. Jesus is riding motorcycles, and that over a thousand times you're like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, that Johnny? <laughs> All right, so the cat Kerr, this woman is claiming, Jew! yeah, she, Jew! Jew! yeah, twice she just flew to heaven, and whatever you want to know, she'll tell you. So she's claiming she's flown to heaven over a thousand times. All right. All right. Christian nightmares. Um, we don't know what she's gonna say next. Twenty-one cat cur videos. Cat cur taken in t back in time, where the dinosaurs exist. So I was doing research on this video, and I came across this one. You just punch in cat cur, you'll find something too. We don't know what she's gonna say next. And um, I thought this was great. This man here, uh, Steve Schultz. Absolutely is convinced. She's the driving force behind Kat Kerr's false prophecies at, has been Steve Schultz. Listen to this. This is quite amazing. Kat Kerr says Satan caused dinosaurs to sin. All right. So I don't even know what to say about that. So God flooded the earth before he made Adam and Eve. So, so, 
I'm assuming that she's thinking that God flooded the earth twice. All right, so I honestly, like, it's trying to, like, all right. I tried to summarize the best I could the title of this article, but her story is so lavish and impossible to do. Kat Kerr, who's written about several times, Reformation Charlotte is a false prophet who believes God told her she needs to have pink hair in order to stand out amongst the prophets. Amazingly, there are a number of other people who listen and believe the outlandish things this woman says. In fact, they they would just, oh, they get so angry. They, How dare, touch not the Lord's anointed. They would like straight up, they would just foaming at the mouth in anger, ever saying that Kat Kurz, of, how dare you say that Santa Claus doesn't live in Christmas Town and Jesus in the throne room sitting on Elvis' knee playing the guitar and riding around on motorcycles. But these people believe it. We're going to look at her false teaching in a second. Anyways, what are we going to do? Uh, this is where, why we feel the need to continuously cover her. I want to. I'm covering it because uh, of the latest attack on the Bible. In the latest interview with Elijah Listy, Shul Kacker rewrites the creation account of Genesis. Okay, I'm done with it. You know, I'm not waste my time with this anymore. All right, and uh, I just get up. And uh, all right, let's get in this video. This about finding Christ when there was not hardly anyone out there speaking on his behalf. Now we have the internet. Now we have churches everywhere. So that scripture where it says the, the wide is the way to hell and narrow is the path to God and you know blessings to them who find it. Find, yeah. find it. Uh -huh. There's a lot wider path now I see. that it can, you can be led to Christ and this day especially with all the stuff that, like I just explained, is out there. Back in that day when that scripture was made, there was almost nobody out there. Yeah. And so these are different days. So sometimes you have to adapt what that says to now. So in the scripture, in right now in the scriptures, it would say the path has gotten much wider to find Christ, which is a blessing for all those. Who all right. So what she's saying is that the path, well, well, let's finish letting do it, because then she's going to say that there's more people in heaven than there is hell. Live today compared to those who in the past did not. Yeah. So I would have to say, I've seen hell, I've seen who was in there, and when I was in heaven, there were more people in heaven than there were in hell. Really? All right, so then she goes on to talk about Elvis Presley and, or forgive me, um, Michael Jackson and um, some other famous actors that she visited in heaven. All right, so interesting enough, I thought this was interesting. One of these comments I thought was quite good. Um, here it is here. I am praying that God will give me discern about Kat. These things she says are very pleasing to the ear, and I want to believe them, yet my spirit doesn't bear witness when I hear them. And when she said there are more people in heaven than in hell, that doesn't agree with what the scripture says. So this person's having this conflict. They like, you know, pray, I pray, twinkle pug. You know, people are, you know, it's interesting. We're seeing a separation from the hyper blasphemous false prophets online. People in dwell with the power of the Holy Spirit are starting to recognize like, wait a second. Yeah. Why is she lying in God's name? Why is she twisting and distorting the Bible? Why is she claiming she's flown to heaven a thousand times? And people are actually escaping these false prophets. That's a fact. That doesn't agree with what the scripture says. Make every effort to enter through the narrow gate. That's in Luke. That's Matthew 7. The Sermon on the Mount. You know, we have certain, she's talking about Sermon on the Mount. So Matthew 5, Jesus set on his disciples, his boys. He's already listening. He gives a Sermon on the Mount. Then we have in Matthew 6, the Lord's Prayer. And then Matthew 7 is the Bible verse she's referring to. And then it says, Matthew 7, 20, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only he does the will of my Father. And on that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Cast out many demons in your name and do mighty works in your name. And Jesus will say, I never knew you. Depart from me, workers of iniquity or sin. For many who called and far choose in Matthew. For the gate is small and the way is narrow that leads to life. And if you find it, we'll look at that in a second. I thought it was a very insightful comment. Yes, Kat Kerr is tickling people's ears. And whatever you want her to say, you just ask her a question and she'll, say, she'll tell you. And uh, I thought it was very insightful. We combat the false prophets with the Bible. So I'm going to listen to it one more time. I want to take it out of context. This 
about finding Christ when there was not hardly anyone out there speaking on his behalf. Now we have the internet. Now we have churches everywhere. So that scripture where it says the, the wide is the way to hell and narrow is the path to God and, you know, blessings to them who find it. Find, yeah. find it. Uh-huh. There's a lot wider path now I see. that it can, you can be led to Christ. And this day especially, with all the stuff that, like I just explained, is out there. Back in that day when that scripture was made, there was almost nobody out there. Yeah. We'll keep going. Um, I do want to read one Bible verse. The wrath of God is being revealed from heaven against all godliness and the wicked people who suppress the truth by their wickedness. And that's what she's doing. She's t tickling people's ears, claiming some of the most bizarre things I've ever heard in my life. But she's suppressing the truth. Since what we know about God's plain to them, because God has made it plain to them. For since the creation of this world, God's invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what is made, so that people are without excuse. Titus 2.11 says, For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. All right. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and live self-controlled, upright, godly lives in this present age. So quite clearly, see, we are God's creation. He loves you. That's why for God so loved the whole world that he sent his only begotten son, that whoever believed in him should not perish but have eternal life. All right. But people love their sin. They love their false prophets. They love their fortune tellers and their false teachings. Actually, Thessalonians talks about, therefore God sends them a strong delusion. This is what we're talking about. Some of them out, Matthew 24, talks about the disciples like, Jesus, when are you coming back? What are the signs of the times? And Jesus responds, let no one deceive you. Deception in the last days. Then he talks about false Christ, false prophets will arise and will deceive many. Many people are deceived by Kat Kerr. Just look at her videos. Like hundreds, millions of people are watching and delighting in this false prophetess. Therefore, God sends them a strong delusion so that they will believe what is false in order that they be condemned. They want their false prophets. They want their fortune tellers who did not believe the truth but had pleasure and righteousness. All Kat Kerr has done, one of the most egregious examples of a false prophet online, is picked up a Bible says a few Christian truths, speaks a little bit of Christianese, all right, and then just blasphemes God on a daily basis. And this man, Steve Schultz, we'll listen to a bit more. And so Sorry, Steve Schultz has been promoting Kekker for years, and um, they're all under the judgments of God. All these videos are still posted, all of this blasphemous heresy. We're going to read Sermon on the Mountain in a second. These are different days. So sometimes you have to adapt what that says to now. So in the scripture, in right now, in the scriptures, it would say the path has gotten much wider. In the scriptures, it would say the path has got much wider. Heaven and earth will pass away, but God's words are eternal. All right. False prophets will come and go, but the Bible, the rock, our salvation in Christ Jesus, he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. There are only two ways in life. A wide path, I'm done with it. I'm not going to listen. She talks about Michael Jackson and uh, Whitney Houston, I think, was another one. I don't know. I don't, I don't even want to pollute my ears with this blasphemous heresy. I think, what was it? Robin Williams is another one. You can go listen if you want. I'm done with it. All right. So, Matthew 7. Here's the Bible verse she's referring to. So, whatever you wish others to do to you, do also to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter by the narrow gate. For the gate is wide and the way is easy that leads to destruction. And those who enter by it are many. For the, great, the gate is narrow and the way is hard that leads to life. And those who find it are very few. Now, according to the false prophetess Kat Kerr, more people are in heaven than hell. And the wide path You have to literally take on an eraser, erase this, because of the internet. 
It's amazing. Enter by the narrow gate, for the gate is wide, and the way is easy that leads to destruction, and those who enter by it are many. For the gate is narrow, and the way is hard that leads to life, and those who find it are very few. Beware of false prophets. This is our Lord and Savior. Beware of false prophets. This is the very next Bible verse. Who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. You will recognize them by their fruits. Our great, their fruits. All right. This is just one of them. Like the double flood story. It's, it's just shocking how. It's amazing to me, and to be honest with you, how shockingly obvious the false prophets are. It is just shocking to me how anybody could ever, ever believe that that woman is a prophet that has flown to heaven for a thousand times. It's just amazing to me. All right, our grapes gather from thorn bushes. So every healthy tree bears good fruit, but the diseased tree bears bad fruit. A healthy tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a diseased tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown in the fire. Thus you shall recognize them by the fruits. Then we have Matthew 7, 21. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only he who does the will of my Father. And on that day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, cast out many demons in your name, and do mighty works? And Jesus will respond, I never knew you. Declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness, iniquity, sin. Everyone who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man. This is our Lord. All right, we're done with this video. <laughs> oh, done with this video. Good morning. If you're in my live chat or if you're in my uh, watching this, whatever platform, remember to leave me a comment and like the video. This is a difficult video for me. Like, it's just, it's just shocking to me. All right. Everyone who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who builds his house on the rock. And the rain fell and the floods came and the wind blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. And anyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who builds his house on the sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the wind blew and beat against the house and it fell and a great was the fall of it. And when Jesus finished saying these things, the crowds were astonished at his teachings, for he was teaching them as one who had authority and not at the scribes. I pray the Lord bless you. Praise the Lord for our King. <laughs> our hope is in the Lord. You know, and as much as it offends me when I hear these blasphemous false prophets blaspheming God, you know, and all the destroying people's lives with their false prophecies, they have, Kat Kerr has increased my faith. See, there has to be false prophets that will arise. See, heaven and earth will pass away, but God's words are eternal. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing. They have to be carrying Bibles. They have to be coming in Jesus' name. And they have to be blaspheming our Lord. It has to happen. These things have to happen. And just as real as Kat Kerr is a false prophet, our hope is in the Lord. Jesus is coming back preparing our foundation all in with this if you have been delighting yourself in these fortune telling false prophets get on your knees repent pick up your bible saturate your mind on the bible building up your foundation for the day of trial because if you have built your foundation on trips to heaven false prophecy and cat cur visions and delusions out of her mind you're in a lot of trouble because you have built your foundation on a false prophet's teachings you need to build your foundation on the true and living God, the Bible, the truth, the rock. I pray the Lord bless you to be strong in the faith and always remember, Brother John loves you. Bye.